What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the game The What Not Cabinet. Now in the whatnot cabinet, you're going to be placing objects in a cabinet that is three by four, and you're gonna be trying to score with different rows and different columns, and also different objective cards that you have available to you. So let's check it out. Okay, so the components in the game, you're gonna have uh, these curiosity cards, you're gonna go ahead and fill out five of them, and then you also have wonder cards. These are gonna be cards that you're gonna be able to score with. Uh, with these cards, anytime you lay down an animal tile, which I'll talk about the tiles later, you'll score a point for them. Uh, these particular cards right here are going to be if you are able to fulfill these objectives first. So, uh, and this is going to be your cabinet that you're going to be placing these tiles in. So if you manage to be the first person to fill the corners with objects, you're going to go ahead and pick up this card. This means uh, if you have different objects in each of these spaces over here, you'll pick up this card. Um, these cards are going to be worth different amounts of points. Now in the game, you're going to have a bag. It's going to be filled with all sorts of different types of tiles over here. And uh, what you're going to be doing in the game is you're going to be placing these tiles um, in a certain combination to try to form rows and columns and score with those rows and columns. Right here is um, your accent spaces. You're going to go ahead and place the pawns here and then the first person is going to be the person that goes here. Uh, and he'll be able to choose from one of these five different actions over here. Uh, this action right here will allow you to draw three tiles from the bag and you'll keep two of them and you'll discard one of them. This one right over here will allow you to draw two tiles, take one and place the other into the outdoors. And the outdoors area is gonna be right over here. Uh, this option, you'll be able to add a tile to the outdoors and then take two of these tiles from the outdoors. Option number four will allow you to, to add two tiles to the outdoors and then you'll take two tiles from the outdoors and place them here in your cabinet. And finally, the last one means discard all the tiles from the outdoors and then add four new tiles to the outdoors and then take any two tiles from the outdoors. You'll have a card over here that can help you remember these actions here. So let's just say, for example, I decide I wanted to choose. That will allow me to draw three tiles, keep two, and discard one. So I'll go ahead and draw the three tiles. These are the three that I've drawn. Um, I'll keep, let's say I decide I'm going to keep this one over here. And then I will also keep uh, this tile over here. Let's just say I place it over here. And then I'll go ahead and discard one. And then the next two players will take their turn. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and move these up. And this will be the turn order for the next turn. Now the tiles themselves have two different characteristics. One of them is color and then the other is type. The type is going to be listed over here like this is a picture of a seashell for example. So that is going to be a type. Uh, now the way you're going to be scoring is by forming rows and columns. With the columns you're going to be focusing on color. If you get a column that has four of the same color in there you're going to go ahead and score four points. And how you'll do that is you'll just go ahead and place um, a marker over that column to signify that you've scored it. If they happen to be like this, where they're all different colors, you will go ahead and score two points. And again, you'll go ahead and place the marker uh, where the column is. Now, you'll also see that some of these have crowns on them. If you have a tile that has a crown on it, that's going to score you an extra one point. So you'll go ahead and take this, the point marker. Uh, now, if you end up having something like this where it doesn't uh, score anything, you're going to go ahead and put a zero marker on there. Now for rows, it's gonna work with the types. So let's just say I happen to have something like this. Um, I've got four, three different types of objects over here. So that's gonna be worth one point. If I happen to have a row that had the same type of object, like all these three are the same, that is gonna be worth three points. So once again, I'll put a marker over there. So there's also two types of action tiles that you may end up drawing. If you end up drawing this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove all of the outdoor tiles and then uh, replace it with four new ones. And then you'll also have one that's like this. This one will go ahead and score you one point. And what this will allow you to do is you'll draw a curio tile from the cloth and add it to your cabinet. But you will keep this and you'll get an extra point. So anyway, the game is going to go ahead and end after all of these have been filled up. And the way you'll score is you'll uh, any tokens that you've placed over here for scoring, you'll take those uh, for the rows and the columns. Um, any of the bonus ones you've gotten. If you've managed to complete any of these objectives before anybody else, uh, what you'll do is you'll pick up the card and score the points for those. Uh, for this one, this says for every animal that you have. Here's an example of an animal. So any animal that you played, you'll go ahead and score one point. Um, and then you'll also score points if your token ends up in one of these spaces when the game ends. So this one's three points, this one's two points, this one's one point, these are not gonna be worth anything. So if Blue ended up here last, he'll get three points. So you add up all those points and whoever has the most amount of points is gonna win the game. The Whatnot Cabin is a game that plays pretty quick. I think that anybody that enjoys just relaxing games, 
uh, where you're just trying to score with rows and columns with different objects and different colors, I think we'll enjoy this game. Now, the game also has the objective cards, which can, which can also add to the gameplay because you're going to be trying to score those cards. But at the same time, you're also wanting to be aware that if you try to score those cards, you might mess up your cabinet and lose some points, too. So that's something you have to be aware of. Then you also have the Wonder card. Uh, so it's a very simple game to learn. Um, it's There really isn't much to it as far as uh, strategy goes or whatever. You're really just trying to figure out the best way to score with your objects and trying to pick the correct objects and try to score as best as you can with it. But it's a cool game. It uh, plays quick. I think it works really good as a filler. And uh, I think anybody that enjoys maybe like puzzle games or just trying to figure out ways to score objects the best way would, uh, would like this game. So guys, that's my review of the Whatnot Cabinet. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.